Good afternoon, I'm Bob Gallagher, the mayor of the city of Bettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday, April 9th, 2021. Welcome to the Bettendorf Library for Library Week. And we have a great guest with us today. We have our brand new library director, Jillian Ashelman. Jillian, welcome to the Mayor's Message. Thank you so much for having me. We're glad you're here. Tell the folks where you came from and what your background's like that you bring here to the city of Bettendorf. Sure. So I originally um, started as a children's librarian, actually. Um, I was hired by Sue Sharp, who is the uh -huh. former director here um, at the LeClaire Library. And uh, when she moved to Bettendorf, I actually took over uh, the LeClaire directorship there. And um, from there, I moved on to the DeWitt Public or Community Library, and I've been out there for about four and a half years. We just finished an extensive renovation and expansion yeah. project of that facility. So I'm very, very excited to be part of the Bettendorf team. Well, welcome to your new home. Where are we right here? Right now, we're in the quad. So this is a space that is usually used for some of our after-school <clears throat> programming, um, mostly uh, designated for teens, I believe. I'm still getting to know the lay of the land a little bit. You haven't so. figured it out in two weeks? Come on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, the staff keeps referring to rooms, and I was like, can you just explain where that is again? <laughs> well, terrific. So, yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you think about the library. You've been here a short time. Yeah. And maybe what some of your plans and goals are for the future. I, I'm just so excited to be a part of this library. Um, I've always seen it as kind of the gold standard for uh, what libraries should be doing, um, and to be a part of this team is fantastic. The Good. Bettendorf Library staff has just been beyond welcoming and wonderful, helping me get on board. Um, and I'm really happy that they were so enthusiastic about expanding our hours. We actually started expanding our hours as of yesterday. So we're open from 9 to 7, Monday through Thursday, and 9 to 5 on Fridays and Saturdays. So we thought that was a perfect way to celebrate National Library Week. Um, we're hoping as COVID and vaccine mm -hmm. rollout continues to continue to examine ways that we could start opening up the library a little bit more. Some of the discussions that we're having now, I don't have full answers on, but we're looking at different services like uh, opening up meeting rooms and things like that. So uh, hopefully we'll have some more announcements in the next coming weeks. Wonderful. What else is happening here for Library Week? Do we have any other types of celebrations or things that you're doing? I really wanted to promote actually our YouTube channel because I don't know if a lot of people know about Probably the not. YouTube channel and the number of virtual programs that we have going on, uh, not just this week, but just continuously. And I've been really impressed with the quality and the um, uh, the production quality and just the quality of the videos that, that my staff has been producing. So. They do something on Wednesdays. They do short stories now and yes. again in all kinds of different ways Yes, that kids book, can log in. Yeah, book club as well for adults. Um, we have uh, we've got what we call grab and go projects where you can come to the library, grab the project and follow along online. Um, it, really great content. So highly recommend people to check it out. If they like this YouTube channel, maybe check out the libraries as Fantastic. well. Fantastic. <laughs> Take a look at the YouTube channel link that you've got on your screen at this time. See if you can come by and pick up some to go projects or just come enjoy the library now with their expanded hours just in time for library week. So thank you very much for joining us. And until we meet again, please Stay six feet apart and symptom free.